this two-minute tour focuses on building the piers. The downtown bridge will have nine piers, four on land and five in the water. The three center piers will be tall towers stretching as high as 280 feet above the water, holding cables to support the bridge. The process of building the towers begins far beneath the water. Large steel casings, each 12 feet in diameter, are twisted into the bedrock in a process known as spinning the cans. With the casing in place, a drill then goes 30 feet into bedrock, creating a rock socket. It can be a slow process, with the drill at times only clearing 4 inches an hour. Next, concrete is poured into the casings. As the concrete is poured in, the water is pushed up and out of the casings. Each tower support includes four drilled shafts. At the waterline, a tub is put into place. It weighs more than 240,000 pounds and acts as the form for the footer of the tower. As you look at the towers, you can see the one closest to the Indiana shore is the furthest along. It's being built in about 10 feet of water. When finished, it will stand about 230 feet above the waterline. The river is about 20 feet deep where the center tower is being built. It will be the tallest tower, climbing 280 feet above the river. The center tower will extend to its full height in early 2015. The tower near the Kentucky side is on the edge of the bulkhead, which serves as a staging area for equipment and material. While this is close to shore, the water here is the deepest at approximately 30 feet. This tower will also reach its full height early in 2015. And that's how the piers, the foundation of the new bridge, are being built.